Today we're sharing how to transform an ordinary sewing table into a beautiful piece of decor. This painted sewing table with silk all-in-one mineral paint is a makeover that anyone can do, regardless of painting experience. I bought this old sewing table at a thrift store for only $10. There was no sewing machine in here and new sewing machines won't fit. So I'm gonna turn it into an accent table or end table for someone. First, I cleaned it with White Lightning Dixie Bell Cleaner. Just mix the powder with hot water and then wipe it on with an old rag to remove grime and prep the furniture for paint. Unfortunately, this piece was refinished at some point and the varnish had puddled in some areas. The finish was also very bumpy and damaged in some areas. So I sanded those areas all smooth with 220 grit sanding screens and my three x four surf prep sander. Sanding through the old finish usually means that we will have bleed through stains from sanded areas. So I had to seal those areas very well to prevent those stains from ruining my paint job. Dixie Bell Paint came out with a new primer that is a stain blocker and a bonding primer in one. It's water-based though, so I have my doubts on how well it will work when pieces have some very bad stains from the wood tannins. But I wanna test it and see if it's good or not. I primed the table with three coats of primer using a mohair roller and brown brush. I let the primer dry around 20 hours between each coat, which is longer than the recommended time but I know water-based primers that have any chance at blocking stains need a longer dry time in between coats. After the first coat, I could easily see a lot of bleed through stains all over. By the last coat though, I could see just faint stain lines, but it wasn't very pronounced. So I can say it can block stains, but it does take a long time to do so. And yes, I left the hinges on. Hinges honestly are a pain to put back on and have the doors work properly. So I have gotten in the habit of just leaving them on. The proper thing would be to remove them or tape them off so they don't get painted. A day after the last coat of primer, I set up a makeshift paint booth and sprayed the beautiful new color of silk paint called Acadia onto the table. I thinned the paint out by about 15%, I think, but it was still thicker than I like. I didn't thin it more though because I didn't want to mess with the integrity of this paint. It also has a stain blocking primer built in and even though this is a darker color, I want it to keep blocking those stains that are coming through. I also sprayed the inside of the table in case anyone opens it up. I wanted it to look nice inside. I let the paint dry for a couple of hours between coats with everything open. Then I laid some paper towels on the top before I closed the top so the freshly painted surface wouldn't stick together or get ruined, even though it was dry to the touch. Once closed, I sprayed the areas that I couldn't get before, letting it dry for a couple of hours between coats. This paint doesn't require a top coat, and honestly, I just wanted a quick and easy makeover here, so I opted to not top coat this one. I'll probably regret that later, or I would if I was keeping it. So here's what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like now. Isn't it cute? Painting furniture doesn't have to be a long drawn out process for fun little projects like this. Dixie Bell Paint just came out with new colors and this paint color is one of them. They knocked it out of the park on this. It's such a good color. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you liked this video. It helps push our videos out to more people who might enjoy it as well. So thank you so much. Are you confused and not sure where to start with your furniture makeover? Don't worry, I got your back. Click the link in my comment to download our free painting checklist so you can paint your furniture as if you hired a professional to do it.